Hey, Martin, what you doing? Oh, hi, Dustin. I like reading articles about serverless on Hacker News, but I don't have time to check the website every day. I found an API to give me the latest articles, and I've heard about scheduled cron jobs, but I don't know how to combine them. Hmm, you know, that sounds like it might be a good job for a cloud scheduler. And we can use that with Python in the cloud? Yep, let me tell you more. Python is often called a glue language because it's a powerful tool for easily combining multiple different systems. Part of this is because Python has great client library support, which lets you interact with lots of APIs, products, and services from the comfort of Python. But it doesn't just end with the cloud. Python is useful for combining just about anything with anything else. So what are you trying to glue together, Martin? Well, I found this Hacker News API, which gives me the current top posts. I wanted to email me whenever there's a new post about serverless, so I never miss an interesting article. I think we could easily do this with Cloud Scheduler and Python. The first step would be writing a Python script, which can get the top stories from the Hacker News API. Then, iterate over every story. If any of their titles match serverless, it'll send you an email with the links. We'll use the request library to make an HTTP request to the URL for the API which happens to be hosted on Firebase, a Google Cloud product. We'll get all the top stories, iterating over each one. Then, if any of the stories match, we'll use some custom code to send an email formatted with all of our serverless stories. We can put this all in a single Python function. We can then deploy this app to Cloud Functions. After deploying, we get a public URL for our function. Cool. So whenever I visit this URL, it will email me any new articles on the front page? Yep. And the last step is running it on a schedule. For this, we use Cloud Scheduler to create a new job which runs once a day. Cron jobs are scheduled at recurring intervals, specified using the Unix cron format. You can define a schedule so that your job runs multiple times a day or runs on specific days and months. We'll schedule our job to run once a day at midnight. We'll use the gcloud scheduler jobs create command to create a job which calls our function on this schedule. We can use gcloud scheduler jobs list to confirm that our job was created. And we can use gcloud scheduler jobs run to run it once regardless of the schedule. Oh, I got the email. This is great. I'll get any serverless articles delivered right to my inbox every day without me having to do a thing. Thanks. Of course. Anything else I can help you with? Actually, Dustin, uh, there is one thing. I'm often late to meetings. Uh, do you think Cloud Scheduler and Python can fix that too? Hmm. I don't think I can help you there. Oh, well. <laughs>